Hi everyone, in this new episode about famous classical guitarists, we are going to review three things you need to know about Julio Sarrador Sagreras. One, a guitarist upbringing. Julio Salvador Sagreras was born on November 22, 1879, in Buenos Aires, from parents who themselves were guitarists as well. If we don't know much about his mother, his dad was Gaspar Sagreras. Maybe it was fate, but apart from No Me Olvides, Do Not Forget Me, there isn't many of his father's compositions that have survived until today. Julio started learning guitar with his parents from a very young age and participated in his first concerts at the age of six. Wanting to pursue his life and career in music, he studied piano and composition from the age of 12. He progressed very quickly and eventually got appointed professor of guitar at the Academia de Bellas Artes in 1899. 2. A prolific composer and performer Sagreras was a well-known performer during his lifetime. He gave many concerts in concert halls and salons and even participated in radio broadcasts and was particularly active from 1900 to 1936. In parallel to his stage career, he was also known as a composer. Indeed, composing was part of his daily routine and he wrote and published around 120 works for guitar, in addition to numerous tangos. Some of his most famous pieces are Maria Luisa, which is a mazurka, violetas, a valse, and a virtuosic El Colibri, which aims to imitate the flight of the hummingbird. If you're not familiar with this bird, it looks like this, and it could flap its wing up to 200 times per second, so you can imagine that the tempo of this piece is rather rapid. 3. A well-regarded pedagogue. We've talked about Sagreras as a performer and composer, but his most notable contribution to classical guitar is definitely his pedagogy. He developed a methodical and well annotated guitar instruction series made of seven volumes that take the student from the beginner to the advanced stage. The approach with incremental difficulty is so well designed that it can be used by a student as a self-teaching resource. He particularly emphasizes the importance to make the melody stand out, and it is no surprise that his work in general is extremely rich melodically speaking. He opened his own school, Academia de Guitarra, in 1905. The musical piece in the background is the Mazurka Maria Luisa. You can listen to my interpretation by clicking on this link. Would you like to learn more facts about guitarists and guitar composers? Let me know in the comments below. Did you like this video? Please hit the like button and click on subscribe to support this channel. And if you want to be a super support, I invite you to become one of my Patreon sponsors. You'll find a link in the description below so you can learn more about how you can make a difference. Thanks in advance. See ya!